All right, everybody, this is Ryan Higley again with the ITC beaming through you through the interwebs and uh, bringing you a new tutorial on Adaptive Release, the advanced version. Now, when I say advanced version, really all that means is that before we could only create one set of rules. So that could be either a grade or a time or um, checking a, a, a review status or something on an item. It could be those three things, but uh, in this way, we'll be able to make multiple rules on top of each other. And that could be really nice. It gives you a lot of flexibility for one item. Uh, who's going to be seeing that? When are they going to be seeing it? Uh, uh, wh what do they have to do to be able to get that content to them? So let's jump into it. I'm going to go right back into uh, our self-paced Blackboard course because that seems like an easy way to do this. And uh, I'm going to go down to this uh, advanced tab. Now you can do this, uh, you can do these adaptive, advanced adaptive releases to basically any item inside of Blackboard. So if I go into here, um, I'm, I'm going to build some content and, uh, and let my students see that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a YouTube video. Let's say I want to reward some of my students if they've done well on certain things and met certain criteria uh, with a YouTube video. So I'm going to search for silly cat video. I bet anything that YouTube will be able to find me a silly cat video. What do you want to bet? I haven't tried this yet, actually, but all right. I bet. <laughs> oh, geez, only only a hundred one of one hundred thousand came back. I'm surprised. That that must be the maximum. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna choose one of these videos. Something hopefully not ten minutes long. All right, I'm gonna select this one. All right, so we have our YouTube video, and I'm going to, I don't even need a description or anything like that, I'm just gonna hit submit. Okay, so we have our video inside of Blackboard, our silly cat video. Now let's start adding some of these advanced adaptive release options. So you click on this downward arrow, you're gonna see adaptive release, we already talked about that, we're gonna do the advanced one. So right now it's gonna bring me to a new screen, it's gonna say, do you wanna create a rule? Now a rule is just going to be one uh, option of the advanced release. So when you when we actually start creating a rule, it's going to look really similar to what we just saw. It's just now we're going to be able to create multiple instances of those and uh, and so let lots of different people, uh, different groups, different people, different uh, uh, rules for each one of these uh, releases. So I'm going to create a rule. Okay, so once we get to this screen, it's gonna ask me for the rule name, and uh, rule one would be fine, uh, but I'm going to say, uh, this is the cool kids rule. Okay, so got the cool kids group rule. This is where I can start adding stuff to this. So I know it's gotta have a membership because there's only a couple cool kids in this. Okay, so these cool kids are going to pop up in our course membership. I'm just gonna say go. And of course they're Ryan and Adam. Okay, so Ryan and Adam are in the cool kids group. Hit okay. All right, so let's add some more. I'm going to uh, say uh, there has to be a grade involved. So to be able to see this, and this should look very similar to what we did before, I'm going to say to see that, you really got to be able to pass the uh, Grade Center Plus test. And I'm thinking that you got you to gotta be able to get 100% on that guy to be able to see my silly cat video, of course. So five, I know that this is worth five because it has five behind the name here. So I'm going to say that the score is going to be equal to five. Okay, so there's membership, it's two members, and they gotta get a five to be able to get this. So that's good, I'm gonna say done. And I'm gonna go down and click okay. So now we have that for that one specific item, this YouTube video. But now I'm gonna create another rule. And I'm gonna call this one, the other kids rule. So now that I have that, there's going to be membership to that one too. And how I'm going to pick out that membership is I'm going to say it's everyone except Ryan and Adam. Okay, so everyone else except for Ryan and Adam is now in that group. 
got 23 people in it. And I'm going to uh, add also a grade to that. So now I'm going to say that that same video, Grade Center Plus, maybe they don't have to get a perfect score because they're not Blackboard administrators like Adam and I. So I'm going to say that they have to get a score between 3 and 5 to be able to see this. So anytime they get any anywhere between 3 and 5, they're good. They'll, they'll see my silly cats. So then, Okay, so now I have two separate rules put onto this. I can go back in, I can edit these rules, I can add more things if I want to. Uh, really, this is just, you go nuts, you know? Whatever you think is going to work best for your class and, and, and really be able to uh, let certain people see content when they need to, when they've met certain criteria, and, uh, and do it really easily inside of Blackboard. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please go to the discussion board inside the self-paced Blackboard, or you can comment on this YouTube video. Thanks.